Hi, welcome. Today we're going to be talking about actions speak louder than words. You hear words, but it's what you do that people really watch. Now, wait a second. What do we have under? Freddie and Frida, look at how they are all wound up in this yarn. We're going to have to do some unraveling for Freddie and Frida, just like in our story. Jesus is going to unravel a few things because there were some people that were doing actions that didn't really follow what their words were saying. And so we're going to le learn about the chief priest. Right now, let's fold our hands and pray. God, we're knotted up with fear, anger, and certainty. You have the power to undo the ropes we've tied around our sinful selves. Today, open up our minds to your word. And when we can't undo what we've done, forgive us too. In your name, amen. Now Rachel is going to do a song. He's got the whole world in his hands because God does have all of us in his hands. Rachel? Thank you, Rachel, for singing. He's got the whole world in his hands. God does have the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me in his hands. God has always had us in his hands and the whole world. Way back in Jesus' time, he had the world in his hands too. Not only that, he sent his son Jesus into the world. And Jesus went to a temple where there were some priests. There were regular priests, then high priests. And priests worked in the temple, and it's kind of like our church. And what they would do is they would teach other people about the Word of God. But what we were finding was that they were teaching one thing and doing something else. Once again, actions speak louder than words. I want to tell you about the priests first. The priests would begin, and they would be wearing white linen undergarments, then they would put a white coat over them and on top of that they would have some blue and on top of that they would have a fancy colors on it and they would tie with a bow, uh, belt that was all wound up. That's what the high priest wore. So here you've got the high priest all decked out and fancy. Then you have Jesus who is the son of God and he just wore normal plain old clothes for that time. Now the chief priests, they were quizzing Jesus and asking him questions. And Jesus, they didn't realize that he was the Son of God. And Jesus started to tell them a par parable, which is a story where you learn something. And it says, a man had two sons. And he said, son, go and work in the vineyard. And the son said, I will not. And the son answered, but later he changed his mind and went. And then the second son, he says, go work in the vineyard. And the son said, I will, but he didn't. Both those examples show words and actions. Which one of the two sons did the father do what he, do what he wanted? It was the first one. He said he wasn't going to go work but he did go and work. And the second one didn't do that. Have you ever had a friend say, oh, I'm gonna come over and play, but then never show up? The actions didn't match the words. And you remember those actions more than the words. Have you ever had a time when they will say, I'll sit by you at lunch. And at lunchtime, they're sitting with somebody else 
Jesus teaches us to notice what people do. Their actions speak so highly and so much more. Jesus wants us to practice humility and to be soft or, you know, you can stick up for what you want in words, but there's a difference between sticking up for you with your words because you're honest about them and just doing it to be spiteful or not sincere. Jesus says to have your words match your actions. Today as an activity, when you are with your family, take a mirror and look at it and see how it mirrors back to you. Then choose somebody else in your family and have them mirror what you do. Do it slowly and then reverse and let your family member do some actions and you mirror them. That is something that you can do with your family. And when you are sitting around for table talks, you can share something that you did that didn't match what you said. And you can share something you said that you did follow through with actions. This week, think about actions follow, speak louder than words. Follow what Jesus says through your actions. Show your love to others. Show your kindness to others. Don't just say, oh, I'm gonna go help this person. Oh, I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna do my homework. And then you don't do it. Your actions speak louder than words. Let us fold our hands to pray. God, fill us with your love. Help us learn from Jesus. Help us to share love in all our actions. Send us out in joy.